Yo, what is up guys, Instinct got here, I mean Instinct got 888 here, back with another video. So today guys, um, so there was this video that I've actually stumbled upon, like, a while ago, about some YouTuber named DK 19 I believe that the number was 19, yeah, MoldDK19. And he was talking about, like, GTA 5 and, like, the police AIs and stuff, so I'm gonna, like, show you the video. He talks about it, like, towards the end, but... Yeah, he talks about it, like, towards the end, but he doesn't, he, like... He just talks about, like, all the other stuff, so I'm basically gonna be, like, reacting to it. And, yeah, let's get started. personal vehicle disappears even though this was supposedly fixed and patched oh and also i'll put a link in the, the in the description so you guys can actually watch it yourself without me reacting to it and talking in it it still happens XF is still in the background. And then it's gone. Honestly, this I could actually agree with. It's never been patched, and I guess apparently there was supposed to be a patch note for it, but... It hasn't been patched after like six, seven years of this game being out because I remember I left a car on the highway, stole another car, left, and then I look back and it's like just gone. So yeah, basically I can agree with him on that because it hasn't been patched and cars still dis- your personal vehicle still disappears after seven years of this game being out. Or six. I just six or seven years, but doesn't matter. And again here, I'll drive away, and then... Poof, it's gone. But also, what do we all you can do is just go to the police station in Mission Row, it'll show a vehicle symbol that says vehicle impound. Just have 250 bucks on you, and you can just get your car back. So it doesn't really matter if you lose it. It really doesn't matter. Just as long as it's in the impound, that is. I think there was a glitch in GTA San Andreas where basically, I think it was only in the original version though, but like if you were flying a plane, sometimes stuff like loads in very late, so like you don't know if you're going to be crashing into it, but mostly it's like trees, but that's in GTA San Andreas. But this bug I never really got in GTA 5, maybe it's patched, but I don't know. Giving you absolutely no time to react. Now this bug is pretty annoying if you're being chased by the police. I hate this bug, this is so annoying. Down, you want to get out fast and get away, but you can't because you have to wait for it to be completely still. Yep. Yeah, this is annoying, I hate that bug. This bug is really annoying when driving. When you get a call, the phone pops up and then... To answer it, you have to press X, but since X is also the handbrake, 
As long as the phone is up, you can no longer break. X is not the handbrake. I saw X was I saw R one was the handbrake. I've been uh, L one, one of those two. It was either R one or L one. You can just do that for the handbrake. It like you can literally just do hold, either R one or L one, whichever button it is, and you can still handbrake either way. So if you're trying to, you'll just turn a lot faster. If that's what he means, but I don't know what he, I don't know. Break around the corner and then somebody calls, you cannot break and you crash into a wall. Now I understand that, you know, consoles have a limited set of buttons, but you know, they could have done at least something so that you don't crash into a wall when you get a phone call. Because, you know, I could have been going, you know, 200 kilometers per hour and then if somebody had called me, I would have crashed directly into a wall and I would die. You know? Now the reason that it didn't answer the phone immediately is because actions that require you to not hold a button will not be executed until you release that button. So, you know, when I'm using the handbrake, I hold down X, and then when I want to stop using the handbrake, I release it, and that's where the phone gets answered. The Rage engine uses a, a physics engine called Bullet for the vehicles and the objects. Uh, however, due to the very limited processing power on consoles, uh, when cars are far away from the player, the game removes the physics and uses a very simple animation system to drive them instead. Uh, and this causes various unnatural behaviors and great grief for the player. You'll see cars changing speed in an instant, turning instantly, park sideways, cross the highway, stop instantly, etc. For example, notice how this car moves slightly sideways before turning. Isn't that what it, you're supposed to do, though? Can is that what I thought? That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so let me give you an example of what it looks like. Real the fake physics system kicks in. So this is how you would expect a car to drive around a corner, but when the fake physics system kicks in, it looks more like this. As you can see, instead of you know just going smoothly around the corner, the car just goes straight and then sideways and then turns around its center. That I really never seen happen. So maybe they updated the game for it. But that's never happened, at least from what I've seen. Uh, which looks very unnatural and very But this stupid. video is six year old, so there could be some changes. Now this bug was also present in GTA 4, albeit in a much less Yeah, but state. I can totally agree Basically, with this one. It seems like all the cars try to deliberately hit you at any chance they get. And whether it's uh, intentional or simply... Uh, Bad, it was a bad spawning system. I don't know, but the fact remains that this happens more than I'd like. For example, look at this right here. The car's basically just going down the road, and then I come by, and then you just suddenly you know, decide to park. Now, the only reason that guy stopped was because of the, the AI on the other side of the road. And this, look at this truck right here. What the fuck is that? Now let's have another look at that. You can actually see the game switching from the fake physics system I was talking about earlier to the real physics system. Uh, so if you look closely, you can see that the car actually slows down, the black car slows down. Um, and that's not because it's braking, it's simply because it's switching from the fake physics to the real physics. And they use different speeds. Now here in slow motion, it's a bit easier to see. You can see very clearly that it's going a certain speed and then all of a sudden it's just almost still. Now this switch from the fake physics system to the real physics system could actually be what's causing this car to all of a sudden just you know, decide to park. Because maybe it's, it's tasks and getting reset or something, I don't know. But it's still annoying as fuck. That happens to me, but not a lot. Just, but sometimes it does. Uh, AIs don't heal for the player whatsoever. That's true. Um, you can be going down a road and then at uh, some T-junction, some idiot can just be you know, driving right out, right out in front of you and you won't care that you're going to hit him. And the only reason this guy's not right here was to yield for the other AI car that passed him. Here are a few more examples of cars that just seem to deliberately want to try to hit you. Sure that they hit you. Look at this guy again. 
he's just waiting there, and then as I catch up, then he starts driving. Another thing the AI is really bad at is switching lanes. Basically, when they switch lanes, they turn as fast as possible, like they're trying to avoid something. Which, uh, well, in this example, this guy is just trying to get into the, to the left turn lane, and he's just crossing me, and, you know, I don't really care, because I'm in a truck. Uh, but, you know, if I was in a smaller car, I would care that he was gonna, you know, just crash into me, and you have no time to react. And this also causes him to almost lose control when it's wet, as you can see here. People also change appearance. For example, if you look at this character right here, it's a black female. But then if you lose sight of her, and then later catch up with her, then all of a sudden, she's turned into a white male. Now, this is actually due to an optimization, but it could have been done a lot better. Basically, when you're far away from a character, uh, it's just a dumber character, which is just a character with a very low poly model with no textures. And then when you get close to it, it gets replaced by an actual character with a random model. But the problem is that when you get far away from it again, it gets switched back into this Dolmen character with, a, with this very low poly model. Uh, and then once you get close again, it just does the same thing it did the first time. It replaces it with a random uh, model. In GTA 4, if you damaged your engine enough, it would actually break down. And then if you were really lucky, you could start it again. But in GTA 5, brand new cars break down, and then you can't start them for like 500 years, and it's really fucking annoying. I know cars take a long time to start, but not a, I never, Let's it actually go. never like broke down. This also brings me to another bug, or at least a lacking feature. In the GTA 4, you can leave the engine on so that you can make a quick getaway, but in GTA 5, you cannot. So. Every single time you get in the vehicle, you have to wait for the engine to start. First, I saw you um, could turn the engine on or off, yes, but... Every time the character gets out, he just turns it off. Okay, I, but I was wrong. I also have that same car myself. The entity... Yeah. I have that adder also. The second fastest car, the entity XF, uh, shown here, uh, I have this car too. Social Club will say the same. Uh, the problem is that if the cars were really going that fast, the consoles would have to load and unload uh, the environment that much faster, and they wouldn't be able to handle that. So instead, they're only configured for uh, the fastest cars configured for 200 kilometers power, or around 120 miles power. Um, so to make you think that you're actually going that fast, Rockstar multiplies the actual speed by 1.75. So if you want to know your actual speed, Simply take your top speed and then divide it by 1.75 and then you'll get your actual speed. Just use Franklin's so special ability to go faster. Really to but that is basically cheating, so... So first of all, we need to figure out exactly how fast we're going here. Um, well, not exactly, but you know, approximately. Basically, I put a mark on the map and then in the lower left corner of the screen you can see how far it's left. Uh, and then I basically use that to measure the average speed. Um, and that will give me a rough representation of the top speed of this vehicle, which is going to be around 200 kilometers per hour, uh, plus minus. It's actually configured for around 187 miles per hour, sorry, kilometers per hour. Um, but it's going to show around 200, maybe. There we go. 194, um, and that's good enough for uh, to get the approximate top speed. Um, and then basically, we'll use that to figure out how much to speed up this video to see how it would look. That is so uh, as hell. 250 plus miles per Freaking 120 head ass. That's a win. Okay, so we've driven two miles or 3.2. One nine kilometers, and it took us fifty nine point six 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 seconds. Nobody doubles so numbers. So to get the average speed, we simply divide the distance by the time. So three point two one nine kilometers divided by fifty nine point six 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 seconds 
equals 0 0.053950323467013 kilometers per second. And to get that in kilometers per hour, we simply multiply it by the, the number of seconds in an hour, which is 3600. And uh, that multiplied by 3600 is uh, 194.22 kilometers per hour, or 120.7 miles per hour. Now, people have claimed various ridiculous speeds above 200 miles per hour, uh, one of them being 261 miles per hour or 420 kilometers per hour. Another one claimed to have been going 316 miles per hour or 508.55 kilometers per hour. Uh, and that's just completely ridiculous. I mean, these people have absolutely no sense of speed. Um, and that 360 miles per hour, I don't really believe it because the fastest car is 200 kilometers per hour approximately. And if he had really been going 360 miles per hour according to Social Club, that means that his actual speed, uh, 360 divided by 1.75, would have been around 180 miles per hour or 290 kilometers per hour, which is not possible considering the fastest car is configured for around 200 kilometers per hour. Uh, but anyways, I'll just take that too. Um, so, first of all, I'll show you what it would look like if you were going 261 miles per hour or 420 kilometers per hour. Okay, so in the previous clip we know that I'm going 194.22 kilometers per hour and 420 kilometers per hour is 2.1625 times faster than 194.22 kilometers per hour. And we know this simply by dividing 420 by 194.22. So to see how it would look if I were actually going 420 kilometers per hour, I simply need, I need to speed up the video to 216.25%. Now, keep in mind that because I'm speeding up the entire video, uh, all the other cars on the road will also go 2.1625 times faster. So, had you actually, or had I actually been going that fast, um, I would pass the, the other cars uh, 2.1625 five times faster than I actually do in the following clip. So look at the road markings in Ireland to get a sense of the speed. Another speed that was claimed uh, was 316 miles per hour or 508.552704 kilometers per hour. So to find out how much I need to speed up the video, we simply do 508.552704 divided by 194.22, which is 2.6184 times uh, faster. Um, so I just have to speed up the, the video to 261.84%. And again, because I'm speeding up the entire video, all the other cars will also be going 2.6184 times faster. So if I had actually been going 508.55 km per hour, I would pass all the other cars 2.6184 times faster than I actually do in the following clip. So look at the road, mar look at the road markings and the environment to get a sense of the speed. <laughs> That would be nice if my car could go that fast, but I'm not on PC, and I don't have PC, sadly. Imagine when GTA 5 is released for the PC and everyone starts modding all the cars so they can actually go the speed uh, that the game says they're going 250 miles per hour. 
uh, the social club would say that your top speed is 437.5 miles per hour. Oh, damn. Also, you see that car parked sideways on the road up there? That's actually a consequence of the fake physics I was mentioning earlier. Uh, where the fake physics turn instantly and then all of a sudden switch to the real physics and everything just fucks up. Now to the main now reason I made this video. The horrible AI, or more specifically, the horrible police AI. I cannot believe the Rockstar thought it was a good idea to release a game with the police AI in the state that it is in currently. I mean, it's the worst AI in any GTA game ever. It's not that it's bad, it's that it's so bad, it makes me want to put my finger through my eye, into my brain, and then whirl it around. <laughs> For example, okay, cop. Okay, that's basically an example of a cop dropping dead. But I don't think it's it's never really happened on my uh, p on on GTA Five for the PS4. So maybe this could have been fixed. So cops won't drop dead when there's actually no gun when there's actually like no gunfights happening. So that's probably been updated. But this is a six-year-old video, so. Some stuff could have been changed, and some stuff is probably still the same. Look at this. I mean, I don't know if they could be bothered making proper firefights uh, or whatever, but they just, I mean, cops just randomly drop dead for no reason whatsoever. That's probably patched or fixed. Now, and I can't believe there isn't a big outrage about this, but there is no patrolling police in GTA 5. I mean, let's just say this, sometimes yes, but most of the time no, because sometimes, like, I'll be going down, like, a highway from either Sandy Shores going to Los Santos as well as Santos going to Sandy Shores, and most of the time I'll actually see, like, a highway patrol officer, not one patrolling the streets, but streets, but just a highway patrol officer, and that's really about it. That's like all I really seen, but that was about it. Won't find. So I can't agree with him on this, but sometimes there is patrolling police, but only highway patrol. But the rest of the time there isn't, because I've really never seen a cop car. Uh, actually, yes, I have, I think. So maybe they did. I think this guy's actually kind of wrong because I've seen some police cars, but like closer to the police station by a bit. Some, or maybe one time I was in Strawberry and I was like speeding down a highway and then I just saw a random police car. So I think they made a patch so that now I think some police cars just patrol the streets at times. Sometimes though, not all the time, but sometimes patrolling the streets like in previous Grand Theft Auto games. Um, if you don't have a water level, you will not find a police car on the streets. Um, if you lose your water level, you can look at a police car, then turn the camera 360 degrees, and then when you look back, the car has despawned. Um, there's a glitch that if you're near the, uh, the police impound, they will spawn. And that's the only place you will see a police car driving around on the streets without you having a water level. But it's like they focused, I mean, it's like they, they deliberately made sure that the police would not be just patrolling the streets. The moment you lose your water level, the cops that were chasing you will, within uh, 30 seconds, usually less, will start chasing a random car. Uh, so you will not, if you just follow them, you will not see them without their sirens on for more than a few seconds. And if you look at this clip, if I just play this clip again, um, I was just being chased by the police. You can see I'm losing my water level here. And then I turn the camera around and I look at the police car that was chasing me. Um, and then I try to keep it in view because I made this video to show you what actually happens. Um, so now I've lost my uh, my uh, water level. You can see the police car in the top right corner of the screen. Um, 
and I keep looking at it, and then as you can see, I drive past it, and then I immediately turn the camera around, and it's gone. It just despawned right away, uh, and this happens every time. If you look, if you look at the police car and it doesn't, and you don't have a water level, the moment you look away, it just despawns. This is not a patrolling police vehicle, this is a police vehicle that was just chasing me and I hit and then lost my water level and I followed him. Uh, just to show you what actually happened, uh, like I said, if you don't have a water level, they're not going to be just patrolling. They're either going to just start chasing a random car or they're just going to drive around cluelessly with a siren on. So they basically... If they cannot find anyone to chase, they basically just switch the siren on, drive around cluelessly for no reason, and then turn it off. I've followed a police car before, and I don't remember this actually ever happening. Drive around again cluelessly for no reason, and then turn it back on and so on. So there's no... I mean, they this never is patrol. probably patched also. Yeah. Oh. Please just stop. Stop. Actually stop. Kisa, can you stop and making a video? Stop. Actually. A video, I just said it. Why do you care? Bro, I would never make a video on that fucking garbage ass game. For fucking 10 year old bitches. GTA's for. Nah, G GTA's for real men. Fortnite's for little baby kids. Yeah, that game I would enjoy. I just don't play it, but I would enjoy it better than cock, cock dick. <laughs> Typical chump. Kiza, do I care? Look at someone else. Damn, I want to see a gay ass tongue. That means that he'll die. As long as you hit you, you should have to. And that isn't the worst part. Um, like I said, they don't chase you. They just spawn 200 meters in front of you and then wait for you to drive by or they'll spawn uh, from the opposite direction. Yep. Yeah, they so always spawn. This doesn't really matter where you are. It's just not fun because you just you drive. Then a cop spawns 200 meters in front of you, and then another cop spawns 200 meters in front of you, and so on. It just go like, goes like that the entire fucking chase. And it doesn't matter where the fuck you go. I mean, they always know where you are. You can be going down the, the most desolate road on the 
entire fucking planet, and they just happen to have police cars waiting in foxholes or whatever. That is so true, that always happens when you're in a police chase. I lost on the side like a minute ago, and been, been going out a completely different direction, and then hit somewhere, and then just coincidentally, they'll have a job that just happens to search where you hit, and then have patrols. But isn't that the point though, because most choppers, they always either one, search where you last hit it, or two, if they see you. They're just gonna do like what ground units do. They'll just follow you. That's I'm pretty sure the point. That's the point of what choppers are supposed to do. If you if you got away, they check your last location on where you are, and if you're not there, then they just look somewhere else for you until they find you. That's the point of that's the point of helicopters in GTA in real life. It just happened to spawn from this helicopter. Coincidentally, had to go in the exact direction that you are. We are airborne and in route. The only people that can somehow find you in bushes are just the ground units. Not air units, but ground units. That's about it. Police also have instant roadblocks. I mean, you can have just been getting the three star water level, uh, which is where they'll start uh, getting roadblocks, and then a few hundred meters in front of you, they'll already have a roadblock. And now I'm getting to the worst part. Um, you can have the car with the best acceleration, and the cops still have the ability to pull up behind you and bump your rear. Uh that's never really happened to me because if I'm Franklin, most of the time, I'll just use a special ability because his special ability makes you go faster and have better turning. And yeah, just this guy doesn't make any sense because he says these things, but he doesn't know all he has to do is use Franklin's special ability and he can just drive a lot faster than normal. The worst part is that when the police bumps your rear, you lose control, and then you may say, is that realistic? Yeah, well, no, because, I mean, if you, if you bump the rear of a car, it's not gonna go off the road. I mean, you'd have to push the rear to the side, like a pit maneuver. But what actually happens here is they couldn't be bothered making a real pit maneuver, so instead they just made the police cars bump your rear, and then when they do, your car turns left or right. I mean, what the fuck is that? I mean, it doesn't get much worse than that. How lazy can you be? They couldn't be bothered making a real pit maneuver, so they just made the car. Why do I feel like he's purposely just turning so he can actually troll other people? I feel like he's just turning the wheel himself just to troll other people. Our turn. I mean, what the fuck? At least that's what I think, but... If you look at this clip again, I'm actually trying to go left around that red car, but then the police car bumps me and the game decides that I should let the wheels should just turn right. And if he had actually been able to get a grip on my rear and pull me off the road, I would have been going left there. Okay, let me show you that again in slow motion. So the, the cup car is about to ramp, so I open up the radio wheel to go to slow motion. And look at the front wheel, it just instantly turns left. Uh, the just use Franklin's special ability to get back in con to get in control of your vehicle. Don't just let the don't just let the freaking tire turn left. Just use a special ability and you can regain control of your car again. That's all you have to do. The cup car hits it's the pretty road. obvious I mean, what seriously. you can do in this what situation, the and it's and very this is so simple. Because you know, had had it been an actual pit maneuver, you you would have been able to use the steering. To correct it, but you cannot because the game just turns your wheel to the left, and in that time, you cannot control it. So, just to clarify, at no point in this clip am I manually turning the wheels, and you'd also be able to see pretty obvious he isn't when you turn the wheels in the game, uh, they smooth to the position, but here they just instantly snap. Why 
Why does it sound like the car is about to break down? It doesn't stop there. When the police shoots out your tires, the wheels also turn left or right. Um, so, again, they could be bothered making an actual simulation of a tire that is burst. They just turn the wheel and that's why you lose control. Yeah, but isn't that the point, though? Isn't your car supposed to crash out, though? Uh, tell me in the comments if the car is actually supposed to just turn or if you're supposed to just swerve out. Like, if you're just supposed to swerve. Tell me in the comments below because I'm actually not so sure. And again, at no point am I turning right. They shoot out my left rear tire and then the car just turns right. Here, just use Franklin's special ability. You'll regain so control much quicker. A, a helicopter shoots out my tire again, and then the wheels turn all the way right. And here I regain control, and then I have to fight not with a uh, burst tire, but with the fact that the game has, uh, you know, taken control of the wheel and turned it right for half a second. I mean, from the very first time I experienced this, it was. It felt like. I mean, it doesn't feel like the tire is burst or that, you know, the police ram you off the road, it feels like a friend is sitting next to you and putting his finger on the, on the analog stick to annoy you. True, it kind of does feel like that, actually. Got to kind of agree with him here. That could just be his bad driving. Now, here's the sad part. They cannot make a bus lose control. I mean, they'll try, but nothing will happen. So they made it so that if it's a bus, uh, the wheels won't turn. So here's the sad part. If they've tried and failed like 10 times, they will actually try to perform a pit maneuver, as you can see here. Uh, so they actually did make a pit maneuver, but they still decided to go with this crappy uh, rear bumping automatic turning thing crap technique, algorithm, whatever. Um, so, so complicated. Yeah. And this actually brings me to another thing that's crappy about the AI. I mean, they apparently couldn't make them drive properly, so what do you do if you can't make things drive properly? Perfect handling. Perfect handling. So this means that they are actually able to pit the fucking bus. And in fact, the police will try to pit your car sometimes if you're going really slow. So I really don't see the point of this automatic turning when the police bump your rear. I mean, other than uh, Rockstar wanting to annoy people. Now, the police AI doesn't just suck when in a car. Uh, they also Why is there a girl just thing. fighting a guy? Isn't that illegal? Is, in the, uh, isn't that illegal? In GTA 4, if uh, the police spot someone hitting you. Honestly, I like GTA 4 cops. Some of their courts are actually pretty funny. GTA 5 cops aren't really funny. I have funny quotes. And there you go. That's how you do it. And this is what happens if the police spot someone hitting you in GTA 5. You a bad motherfucker, huh? Hey, get out of here! Please! Hey, fuck her, bitch. I'm peeling your wig back, son! Yeah, if you think when said that in the PS4 version, you would just get... You would just get... Clapped.
this bottom right here is one of the reasons that the same time is the task of literally trying to edit. Uh, as you can see here, if you look at the white car again, uh, I draw around the corner, you know, I'm not going to hit him. But he thinks I'm going to hit him and thus turns into my lane to try and avoid me. And that is also what happens here when this guy just decides to drive into me. It seems like he's deliberately trying to hit me. Um, but in fact, it's because he thinks I'm going to hit him. And it doesn't matter whether it's a player's car or an AI controlled car. So this is how you'd expect the cars to drive. But in reality, they drive like this. You can see the red car thought and the green car was going to hit say that the red car is going to hit you. And that's what the AI in the game does. They only consider what they see right now. They don't they don't remember what happened before. But if you, you know, had seen the entire animation, you would know that the red car is never gonna hit you because, well, it's turning in a curve, so you know you're not gonna hit. So here the green line indicates exactly which direction the car is going, and the other cars only consider that to figure out if they should avoid them. So every tick of the AI, the AI only considers exactly what they have in that very instant. So as you can see here, the green car in this instant is at a direct collision course with the uh, red car, and that's why the red car tries to avoid it. This also explains why it's always the car on the outside of the curve that turns, because as you can see, the red car is never on a collision course with uh, the green car. All right, guys, that's basically about it. So, um, Tell me if you guys agree with this uh, down in the comments below. Um, I'll put a description for the video, so if anyone wants to watch it, it'll be it'll be in the description, so you don't have to hear me talking to re and reacting to it. You can just watch him instead. And um, yeah, like and subscribe. Also follow my Instagram. It's CarterCarmen1234. Um, and my other Instagram accounts, Instinct God on YT. If you want to add my COD mobile account, it's Instinct God YT. My PSN account, uh, I mean my PS4 account name is uh, Instinct underscore God uh, six Instinct underscore God six six six, and um, there's no spaces in it. And yeah, alright. So see you guys uh, tomorrow. Hope you all no homo. Peace out. And stay safe during the tough times and, yeah, see ya guys.